Welcome to lecture series on matrix analysis with applications. In the last lecture we have seen that how we can find out inverse of a linear transformations. We have seen that if t is invertible that is t is 1 1 and on 2 then t inverse is also linear and invertible. In this lecture we will discuss that how we can find out a matrix associated with a linear transformation. Okay. Uh, let us suppose that uh, V and W be vector spaces of dimensions n and m respectively. Okay. Let us suppose these two are finite dimensional vector spaces of dimension n and m over the field F. Let B1 which is given by V1, V2 up to Vn be an ordered basis of V and B2 which is W1, W2 up to Wm be an ordered basis of w. Let t from v to w be a linear map, be a linear transformation. Okay. Now, wh what we are uh, discussing basically here, you see we have a linear transformation t from v to w. b1 which is given by uh, v1, v2 up to vn is an ordered basis of V and B2 which is given by W1, W2 and so on up to Wm is an ordered basis of W. Okay. Dimension of V is n, dimension of W is m. Now, if you take T of uh, say Vi or V1 suppose, first you take T of V1, T of first element. Now, T of first element will be some element in W and that element in W can be expressed as the linear combination of element or the basis of W. So, so that means that means this uh, T of V 1 can be written as uh, alpha alpha 1 1 W 1 plus alpha uh, 1 2 W 2 plus and so on alpha 1 m w m okay. or, or you can write like this alpha 2 1 alpha m 1. Okay. These, are, these are the scalars you see. Similarly, if you want to write out say t of v j where j is running from 1 to n. So, it will be uh, alpha it will be alpha 1 j w 1 plus alpha 2 j w 2 and so on up to w uh, alpha m j into w m or it will be written as summation i running from 1 to m alpha i j w i and j is running from 1 to n. So, that means each of the each of the element of this b 1 can be expressed as linear combination of elements of w i's or w yeah w i's. Now, if you take the first element v 1 and t of v 1 is given by this and these are called these scalars are called coordinates of this v 1 I mean t v 1 sorry. The coordinates of t v 1 are alpha 1 1 alpha 2 1 up to alpha m 1. The coordinates of V2 will be similarly alpha 1 2, alpha 2 2, alpha and so on up to alpha m 2. So, if we represent a matrix corresponding to this like this, the first coordinate, the first uh, uh, coordinate of T V1 as a column vector alpha 1 1, alpha 2 1 and so on up to alpha m 1. The second vector is alpha 1 2, alpha 2 2 and so on up to alpha m 2. And the last one is alpha m 1 n alpha 2 n and so on up to alpha m n. So, this m cross n matrix, this matrix corresponding to this linear transformation with respect to the basis b 1 and b 2 is a matrix associated with t with respect to the ordered basis b 1 and b 2. Okay. So, this is the same A which we have discussed and this is called the matrix of t relative to the pair of ordered basis b 1 and b 2. Okay. Now, to understand this let us discuss few examples or few problems based on this. The first problem is 
Let us consider T from R2 to R3. Okay, the simple example. And T is given by T of x1, x2 is given by x1 plus x2, 2x1 minus x2, and 7x2. And the uh, basis of uh, the first basis of R2 is the ordered basis is 1, 0, and 0, 1, the standard basis, and the basis of R3 is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, or 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 the standard basis of R3. Now, we have to find out the matrix of T respect to uh, with respect to the uh, basis B1 ordered basis B1 and B2. So, how we can find out that matrix? So, let us see here. First, we find T of 1 0, this T of 1 0. T of 1 0 from here is it is 1, it is 2, it is 0. Now, what will be and the and this is nothing but this is nothing but 1 times 1 0 0, 2 times 0 1 0 and of course, 0 times 0 0 1. So, what are the coordinates of uh, uh, this vector t 1 0? The coordinate of this vector are 1, 2 and 0 and you write this as a column of the matrix of t. Again, T of 0 1 is nothing but you simply take 1 it is minus 1 and it is 7 which can be written as 1 time 1 0 0 minus 1 time 0 1 0 and plus 7 times 0 0 1. So, the coordinate of this vector is 1 minus 1 and 7. So, the matrix associated with this linear transformation corresponding to the basis B 1 and B 2 is given by the first coordinate 1 2 0 as a column vector 1 2 0. The, uh, the second one is 1 minus 1 7 as a column vector 1 minus 1 7. So, this uh, this will be the matrix associated with associated with this linear transformation T corresponding to these standard basis of R 2 and R 3. Say now we have a second example you see the second example is determine the matrix of T with respect to the basis B 1 and B 2, where T is given by this expression B 1 is this and B 2 is this. So, how we can find this? So, now T is from R 3 to R 2 okay? and T of x, y, z is given by x plus y and y plus z. So, B 1 is the basis of uh, R 3 is given as 1 1 1 is given to us 1 0 0 and 1 1 0 and basis of R 2 is as 2 3 and 1 0. So, of course, corresponding to different basis for the same linear transformation the matrix will be different. If you if you have this linear transformation, but we have a different basis of R 3 and R 2. So, there will be a different matrices of this linear transformation corresponding to the uh, basis B 1 and B 2. Okay. Now, suppose, so of course, the uh, order of the matrix will be 2 cross 3, it is clear from here. Okay. So, what is T of 1 1 1? First, you find this T of 1 1 from here is 2 comma 2 okay. and now, now this can be written as you have to write this as a linear combination of 2, 3 and 1, 0. Okay. So, so it is 3 and we want 2. So, it is it is uh, 2 by 3 times this, then only it will become 2 because no 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 second component here. Now, it is 4 by 3 and you went to want to make it 2. So, it will be 2 by 3, then only it is 6 by 3 means 2. So, the coordinates of this vector with respect to uh, with respect to uh, this basis is 2 by 3 and 2 by 3. Now, if you take T of 1 0 0, T of 1 0 0 here is you take 1 plus 0 is 1 and 0 plus 0 is 0, which is 0 times 2 3 plus 1 time 1 1 0. So, the coordinate of this vector will be 0 1. Now, T of 1 1 0 will be you see 1 plus 1 is 2 and 1 plus 0 is 1 
and this can be done as you see you want to write it as a linear combination of these two vectors. So, you want 1 here, so it is 1 by 3 and you want 2 here, a 2 by 3 means 4 by 3. Okay. So, the matrix corresponding to this linear transformation with respect to these two bases will be the first coordinate 2 3 2 3 2 by 3 2 by 3 as a column vector, the second vector the second coordinate 0 1 the third vector is 1 by 3 and 4 by 3. So, it has it is of order 2 cross 3. So, this will be the corresponding linear transformation. Okay. The third problem is you consider a linear uh, map I mean linear transformation D from P 3 to P 2 which is a which is a differential map. Okay. Now, we have to calculate the matrix of D relative to the standard basis of P 3 and P 2. So, how we can do that? Now, here D 3 D is from P 3 to P 2 and D of F is simply F dash or T of D of P is simply P dash. Okay. This part of standard basis. So, a standard basis of P 3 is 1 x x square and x cube. A standard basis of P 2 is 1 x and x square. Now, what will be D of 1? D of this element 1 because it is a differential operator it is 0 and 0 can be written as 0 times 1 plus 0 times x plus 0 times x square the linear combination of these 3 elements. Differential of x is 1 which can be written as 1 times 1 plus 0 times x plus 0 times x square plus 0 times x cube uh, sorry 0 times x square because, because this element this element is in P 2. Now, what is d of x square? d of x square is 2 x which is 0 times 1 plus 0 plus 2 times x plus 0 times x square and what is d of x cube? It is 3 x square which is equal to 0 times 1 plus 0 times x plus 3 times x square. So, what is the correspondingly uh, corresponding matrix? Corresponding matrix will be you see here the coordinates are 0 0 0. So, as a column 0 0 0 here coordinates are 1 0 0 1 0 0 here coordinates are 2 0 2 0 which is 0 2 0 here coordinates are 0 0 3 0 0 3. So, this will be the matrix corresponding to it is of uh, it is of 3 row 4 columns yeah. So, this is a corresponding matrix with respect to this linear transformation corresponding to these two standard bases of P 3 and P 2. Now, uh, if a linear map is known and a standard and a basis are known then we get then we can find out a corresponding matrix. Okay. Now, if if a matrix is known and bases are known then can we find out a correspondingly linear map from uh, V to W? So, the answer is yes. So, how we can find this let us see here. So, let us suppose B a matrix B which is given by B i j of order m cross n be given. Now, using this matrix B we can shall define a linear transformation T from V to W where V and W are the vector spaces of dimensions n and m respectively. Now, uh, to understand this let us suppose B 1 which is uh, v, which is given by V 1 V 2 up to V n and B 2 which is W 1 W 2 up to W m be the ordered basis of V and W respectively. Then how we can find out the correspondingly uh, linear transformation from uh, V to W? So, you see we, we are having T from V to W a matrix B which is uh, B i j of order m cross n is known to you that matrix which is associated with a linear map corresponding to the basis B 1 and B 2. B 1 and B 2 are the uh, basis of V and W. Okay. Now, again so this this matrix will be something like uh, you see it is B 1 1 it is B 1 2 and so on up to B 1 n it is B 2 1 B 2 2 and so on up to B 2 n okay. and it is B m 1 and so on up to B m n it is of order m cross n. Now, if you write if you want to write uh, the first element T of V 1 okay, which is the first element of the basis of V 1. 
So, this way this is some element of W. So, again this can be written as linear combination of elements of uh, basis of uh, W which is uh, elements of uh, B 2 and the coordinates we know that the coordinates of uh, this vector is always in the column vector is always from the column. So, this T of V 1 can be find as B 1 1 of W 1 plus B 2 1 of W 2 and so on up to B m 1 of W m. So, this is this is known the coefficients all B i j's are known and W i W i's are known. So, similarly if you want T of V j's or uh, V j's yeah. So, this will be you see B of uh, B of i j okay, and it is W i and summation i is varying from 1 to m. It is T of uh, T of V j's and i is yeah j is running from 1 to n. So, if if we know uh, the T of uh, all V j's then we can easily find out uh, the correspondingly linear map. How we can find this? Let us discuss this by an example. You consider a matrix A of uh, 1, minus 1, 2, 3, 1, 0. We have to find out a linear transformation T from R2 to R3, uh, R3 to R2 in each of the following basis B1 and B2. The first of all, the first, uh, the first one is standard basis of R3 and R2. So, how we can see this? T is from R3 to R2. Matrix A for both the problems are is same. Okay. Now, standard basis of R 3 is 1 0 0, 0 1 0 and then 0 0 1. The standard basis of R 2 is 1 0 and 0 1 okay, that, that we already know. Now, what is T of 1 0 0? T of this element. Now, T of this element will be given by the matrix associated with this linear map correspond to these standard basis is this matrix which is given to us. And the first column correspond to the coordinates of the first vector that is T of V 1. So, this is nothing but 1 times 1 0 the first uh, the first uh, element of the basis ordered basis plus 3 times 0 1. So, that is simply 1 comma 3. Again T of 0 1 0 will be written as the second column that is minus 1 times 1 0 and 1 times 0 1 that will be minus 1 comma 1. Now, T of 0 0 1 will be equal to 2 times 1 0 plus 0 times 0 1 which is 2 comma 0. Now, if you write any x y z in R 3, so it can be written as x times 1 0 0 plus y times 0 1 0 plus z times 0 0 1. So, t of x y z will be equal to x of t of 1 0 0 because t is a linear map y of uh, t of this element and z of t of this element and this is x into t of 1 0 0 is this is 1 3 given to us y of uh, this is minus 1 1 and z of uh, this is 2 comma 0. So, this will be x minus y plus 2 z comma 3 x plus y. So, this is the required linear map. So, if matrix is known and a correspondingly basis are known then also we can find out the linear map. Okay. In the second example if you see a second example where bases are this and this. So, how we can find out the corresponding linear map? You again you can see here again T is from R 3 to R 2 and A is given to us which is 1 minus which is same. Okay. B 1 is 1 1 1 1 1 0 and 1 0 0 B 2 is 1 1 and 1 minus 1. Now, first you write T of 1 1 1 the first element the coordinates are 1 3. So, 1 times 1 1 
plus 3 times 1 minus 1 which is 4 comma minus 2. Now, T of 1 1 0 will be equal to the coordinates are minus 1 times 1 1 plus 1 times 1 minus 1 which is 0 and minus 2. T of 1 0 0 will be equal to 2 times 1 1 plus 0 times 1 minus 1 which is 2 comma 2. Now, you express any x y z in R 3 as a linear combination of these 3 elements. Okay. Uh, you try to find out alpha, beta and gamma in terms of x, y and z. How we can do that? You can simply uh, have 3 equation you see alpha plus beta plus gamma from here is equal to x, alpha plus beta is equal to y and gamma is equal to z. So, from here we will obtain as beta equal to y minus z and from here we obtain as alpha equal to x minus beta minus gamma. Okay. Uh, you see alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to x, alpha plus beta equal to y and gamma equal to okay. yeah, and alpha equal to and alpha equal to z sorry because it is alpha. Alpha equal to z means alpha is z, so beta will be equals to y minus z it is ok. And how we will find uh, gamma? So, gamma will be equal to from this equation gamma will be equal to x minus alpha minus beta it is x minus alpha is z and beta is y minus z. So, this is uh, x minus y z z cancels out. So, this is x minus y. So, what is x what is x y z? It is x it is uh, z times 1 1 1 okay, plus y minus z times 1 1 0 plus x minus y times 1 0 0 and t of x y z will be equal to z of t of 1 1 1 which is 4 minus 2 plus y minus z times t of 1 1 0 which is 0 comma minus 2 plus x minus y t of this which is 2 comma 2. Now, you can simplify this and you can find out the correspondingly linear map from R 3 to R 2 with respect to these two bases B 1 and B 2. So, if we know the linear transformation T and the corresponding basis uh, of V and W, then we can find out a matrix associated of matrix associated with T corresponding to those uh, bases B 1 and B 2. And conversely, if you know the matrix and, uh, and uh, the basis of V basis of V and W then we can find out the linear map. Okay. So, in the next lecture we will see some more properties of vector space and linear, and linear transformations. Thank you.